Hello everyone, my name is Anne-Emmanuel de Boisson. I'm the Executive Director of the French American Chamber of Commerce of San Francisco, also called FACCSF. Uh, we are part of a CCI network, French Chambers of Commerce throughout the world, 120 chambers, and of course part of the FACC network here in the US with 18 chambers in the major cities. Uh, we cover mostly the Bay Area, but uh, the whole of California, and uh, our mission like all the other FACCs as a non-profit organization, is to help companies and entrepreneurs, mostly French, but not necessarily French, uh, come here, settle and develop uh, in California or in the US. Um, we help a wide range of companies, uh, a lot of them are tech, of course in San Francisco, but we also cater to other types of companies, any type of companies, and especially the food and wine sector. As you know that we have Napa and Sonoma regions not far from us and there's a big wine ecosystem there. Uh, we have very small startups with one or two people, we have very large companies um, and one of the companies, one of our members companies that uh, we are presenting you today, we're very happy uh, to introduce you to Oda Seva and uh, its founder Sovan Bin and uh, the floor is to Sovan. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Sovan Bin, CEO of Odaseva. I founded Odaseva back in 2012, and at the time I was working at Salesforce as a lead architect. So I was leading the team of architect at Salesforce Paris uh, to help customers deliver um, their investment on Salesforce technology, uh, working especially with the CAC 40 when I was uh, at the time living in France. And several of my customers identified some challenges regarding data protection and data security that we were not able to solve. And what really led to Odaseva was when one of my customers, uh, Schneider Electric, became the number one customer of Salesforce in the world. And um, I was working with the CIO team who entrusted me, my team to analyze the challenges of data protection and the speed of data management. And the conclusion was that there was no offering on the market to help large enterprise uh, protect data across four areas. Four areas of business continuity from compliance, uh, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Um, we worked on to try to really solve the problem for, for three years, and that particular study became the business plan for a new company. So we decided to launch Odaseva at the time, back in 2012, and Schneider Electric became the first customer, and from one thing to another, uh, we expanded uh, the company across the globe and sold to companies like uh, Manulife or Toyota uh, and uh, AXA and so on uh, to solve the problem that Schneider Electric uh, had at the time. So when you scale as a company um, through the years, um, I identified that we needed two things. First, we need to scale um, the expertise, the experience uh, of our management. And we also needed the resources to be able to execute. Um, so uh, in 2019, uh, we extended uh, the management of the company by hiring co-founders uh, to expand um, the, the knowledge and the experience of our management team. So I hired a chief legal officer uh, in the United States. I hired a CMO uh, in Barcelona and I hired a chief of growth uh, in France. And that allowed the company to grow even faster. And uh, because the first, few, the first few years of the company was um, really about being bootstrapped, solving the technical problem, when you start addressing the market and really working on the GTM, the go-to-market, it requires resources, especially when we were starting to expand the United States. And in the US, uh, we knew that if we didn't have at least $3 million to be able to start investing in some areas, in some states, uh, in some part of the marketing uh, or the sales or the support of the customers, it would be just too slow uh, to really support customers at the right speed. Uh, so this is when uh, we reach out uh, to my network 
trying to find in the network who could be helping me on the financial side when I was really specializing on the engineering. And I met with Jean-Noël Granval, and Jean-Noël Granval uh, sold his company with Alex Dayon to Salesforce, which became the service cloud. And uh, he advised me on how to connect with investors. And this is how we started on this journey to raise funding with a seed round uh, with Serena Capital in France, with who uh, we have raised uh, $4 million. And then we continued and uh, connected with Salesforce Venture and Partech, uh, who wanted to help the company grow even faster and uh, penetrate the large enterprise to help them protect and secure data uh, across the globe. So we raised a Series A of more than $12 million. And then in 2020, something happened, and as you understood from the use cases we cover, we help companies comply with regulation and ensure business continuity of the company. And the business continuity of the company is, is around three things, confidentiality, integrity, and availability. And uh, business continuity was something that was really well known by DRP teams. So DRP stands for Disaster Recovery Plans, which are the IT teams uh, in the enterprise uh, departments. And, uh, Business continuity was their specialty, and something happened in 2020, COVID. And COVID suddenly raised the question to every organization, how can you do business when you have a major incident? And suddenly our use cases that helps uh, governments and large enterprise doing business in case of an incident uh, became prioritized by the different executive committee uh, of the world. Uh, so that's why we raised the Series B. Uh, round uh, of a total of $25 million at the time with HROADS and F Prime uh, to continue helping the large enterprise and governments ensuring business continuity and serve their, their own customers. So Odaseva is an enterprise data security software uh, working specialized with the large enterprise and governments. So we were founded back uh, in 2012 uh, in France, and since then we have been expanding to um, the entire Europe and uh, North America and the APAC region. So we have a subsidiary in the United States, in UK, uh, Singapore, Malaysia, and Australia. Uh, we work with most of the global uh, Fortune 500 and the CAC 40 with companies like AXA, uh, NG, uh, LVMH, or Oxfam. And we help uh, companies protect and secure their data for one simple reason. Um, data has been growing drastically in the last few years, not just in terms of quantity, but also in terms of importance and uh, value. And this is why companies want to protect and secure these assets. So when you look back, um, obviously today, it's easier for Odaseva to hire. We have been raising $40 million uh, with our investors, Partech, Serena, Atroads, F Prime, and Salesforce Venture. And when, when, when you have more than 100 million users, uh, it's definitely easier to hire today than it was before. At the beginning, when you have only 100,000 euro, uh, you don't have that many customers, your office is literally your apartment, is definitely a bit different. Uh, so it was a different time. Uh, we were basically like really promoting the value of the company and looking for talent uh, who will be understanding the vision of the company and be able to execute it. So the reason we expanded is uh, I strongly believe that as a company, you need to be close to your customers. And if Odaseva um, is specialized with large enterprise and governments, uh, they are everywhere. They are not only in France, they are across Europe, they are in North America, and they are in the APAC region as well. So that's why we very quickly expanded uh, in other regions of the world uh, in comparison to other companies. So even when we were only 50 employees, we created a subsidiary uh, in Australia, and we opened the subsidiary in the United States when there was only 15 of us. Uh, so that's why we wanted to be closer uh, and to be able to support and assist our customers um, as best as we could. So after 12 years, there are many things that changed in the company, but there is one thing that did not, and these are our values. Odaseva was inspired by a methodology that Salesforce uh, has uh, developed, which is the V2MOM, and the V2MOM stands for 
um, your visions, your values, your methods, the obstacles and the metrics. And starting with the vision and the values of a company is to be is going to become the backbone of the company through the years that is going to bring consistency in the execution. And part of our values is customer excellence to a point where it also became the name of the company. Um, Odaseva is a mix of being audacious and Seva standing uh, from old Cambodian language, uh, standing for uh, customer success. So being in bold in reinventing the customer success to bring customer excellence. And when you do business and you really put the customer at the, th at the center of everything you do, then basically you're going to do it for the right reason. And this customer success is going to bring success to you, to your company. Um, something we are very proud of at Odaseva is we have less than 2% of customer uh, attrition, uh, meaning that we have basically a consistently 98% of our customers who consistently renew. And this is thanks to our focus on customer excellence. All right, so if you'd like to know more about Odaseva, what do we do? What are the use cases we support? How are our customers using our technology? So don't hesitate to go to odaseva.com. Uh, we have a series of customer stories over there. We have multiple white papers on the technical side, on the business side. We have like technical white papers on encryption, architecture, diagrams, and you can learn more about our technology. And Odaseva is hiring very actively. So if you're passionate about data and security, don't hesitate to contact us and you will find the carrier page on our website. So thank you everyone and looking forward to connect.